We're Kim and Al. Last year, we made some pretty big changes. We retired, sold our house in the city, and moved north to an old farm homestead at the end of its life. Our plan is to build an off-grid home ourselves. This year, with our solar and septic systems completed, as well as basic four season shelter, we're ready to take on the challenge of building our forever home. We're excited to share our experience as we continue to create this new life on the North River. Our week started with organizing the wood in the farmhouse and buttoning up the jobs that needed finishing touches. We know that the snow is coming and we want to have all of our ducks in a row before we start to put real focus on dismantling the farmhouse, which we are very eager to do. But also, being that it is now December, it's time to get festive and decorate. We're very grateful and very aware of the reduced pressure this year, and it's exciting to be able to relax and enjoy the holiday season in our cozy little black and blue box. Hi folks, uh, happy Friday. Just wanted to um, kind of share with you a quick PSA. So for any of you who are considering going off-grid or those of you who are off-grid and just happen to uh, uh, not happen to stumble across what we did uh, the other day. So uh, just first off, real quick background. Um, the angle of your panels matters. Uh, you want direct sun and so that will vary depending on the time of year and the latitude uh, that you're at. Um, and elevation as well, really. So. I would recommend um, the easiest thing is just to go online. There are a lot of resources. Um, there are sites you can just punch in your zip code or your postal code or your lat longitude, and it will just figure it out for you and tell you optimally at each time of the year. Sometimes, uh, mostly by month, they'll say this is the angle your panels should be at. And that is assuming, of course, that you can change the angle of your panels. This is uh, something that we were considering originally. Do we go through the the complexity and the added work of making them movable? Um, and in the end, I'm glad that we did. 
Um, so again, if you really want to get optimal efficiency and you can move your panels and you'd have to pay attention to the time of the year, your elevation, all these things, um, move the panels to get optimal sun. Um, another thing that was good that we built this movable is that in high winds, um, it's fairly solid, but uh, I still worry sometimes if we get some extraordinary weather that, uh, you know, we might not get, we might end up with enough force of, of wind pushing on the panels that they snap the masts that they're attached to. So in really windy days, I will just crank the panels up with the winch at the back and flatten them out and then pin them down with these kind of tent uh, shock cord guidelines. Um, does the trick, uh, even when the, the panels are down under heavy wind, we haven't really seen anything that's of concern, but you know, paranoia isn't always such a bad thing. Uh, but what I did notice, because I'm always checking uh, just to see how many amps we're getting on a given day to know whether or not we may need to run the generator at this time of year. Um, so far we've only really needed to run it once. Um, and even then we might have been able to push it. However, um, when I checked with the panels flat, my thought would be that it was quite a bit less uh, current going from the panels to the batteries. Um, but I was very surprised to see that it was actually an increase, and so uh, and and not insignificant. So I was think I was getting uh, three and a half amps uh, going from all three panel, all, all three banks, all twelve panels to the batteries, and then when I flattened out the panels, it went um, almost to 2.2 amps higher. Or let me say two amps higher uh, to 5.3 or 5.5. Um, but anyways, it, it, it's, it's not insignificant in that that goes, you know, that's the difference between charging the batteries almost to full to kind of just limping along and, and you know, possibly needing to run the generator. Um, so just doing a little reading, I guess the reason is on an overcast day, you don't get direct sun. So if you lay your panels at the angle that they're supposed to be for direct sun, you're really just getting one part of the sky. Um, and, and you're missing out on the light that's reflecting off the clouds when it's overcast. So uh, that accounts for why I saw such a significant increase. You flatten out the panels, lights uh, reflecting off the clouds, you get extra current, um, and sometimes that's the difference between needing the generator to kick in to top up the batteries or getting through that particular day until you know, the sun comes out the next day. So just worth considering. Today we're clearing out this entire floor of the farmhouse and this is the last thing that we need to do in here. We need to tie up this, cinch up this awning yep. so that we can carry it. So that's, it's a 14 and 3 quarter feet and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be easy to do. <laughs> it shouldn't be hard. Hang on, I'll lift up the end and you pull up. Stay at this end. Okay. I'm going to lift this up. Okay. Roll it underneath. Okay. And then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay. Yeah, why don't we get a broom and sweep that off? Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> this up. Okay. So hold on. We get the other end. And then we can do some adjustments and cinch it together. But here, just come and wrap this in here. preparing for this week and the next step of the dismantling is this wall. We want to make sure that this floor, floor is all clean and we're going to take this wall down. Hi bye birdie. <laughs> yeah and then the ceiling up here because you can see they've left some of the ceiling up and then these walls we can take out as well down to the studs right beside the door that goes upstairs and then even this wall behind us, we can start to take some of this off yeah. as well. If we do that, and, and I don't know if we, if we still have some vapor barrier, we can temporarily lay it up like they did on this wall. Makes sense. 
Um, unless we're okay with snow blowing through the cracks, because that will definitely happen. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, but yeah, we can definitely get started on the inside sheathing and that ceiling. Um, we'll save the staircase for last, obviously, because we need to get upstairs. Um, Exciting stuff, guys. This is yeah. to come next week. Uh, I'm going to be in it, in the blank. <laughs> yeah.